Dear colleagues, this is fake emulsification of a cataract with mediated pupil and floppy iris. Let us observe the surgical steps. The main incision has been placed at a desired site. Viscoelastic substance has been injected to the anterior chamber. Now, two step incisions are made on either side of the main incision. Now, capsular axis is to be done. The anterior capsule is incised with a 26 case bent needle and a capsular flap is raised. This capsular flap is held with a uterator forceps and in this case, to get a axis of adequate size, I am going along the border of the pupil. Just along the border of the pupil to get a axis of about 5 millimeter size. That's it. The axis has been done. And now, in such cases, we must be very cautious while doing hydrodissection. We must avoid touching the iris too much. I'm just going underneath the anterior capsular rim and injecting BSS. And I found that enough hydrodissection has occurred and the nucleus is rotating freely in this case. But it is not always so. Sometimes the nucleus doesn't rotate and we have to do hydrodissection at multiple points. Now, visco has been injected again. I am entering into the eye with the tip of the FACO handpiece. Here it is. This is Oatly Cataracts 3 FACO machine. And from the beginning, I am in FACO 2 mode. FACO 2 mode means the vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury and flow rate is 40 m5 ml per minute in my settings. And the FACO power depends on the hardness of the cataract. In this case, it is set at 60%. Now, since the pupil has not dilated very well, I am doing vertical chop. That is, dividing the nucleus anteroposteriorly. And this free nuclear fragment is being drawn at the center of the anterior chamber and it is being emulsified. If it doesn't come easily, then I don't go near the pupil. I just wait for the next chop. I could get the lower edge of this fragment and I could bring it at the center of the anterior chamber and I could emulsify it easily. Now, this is another fragment. Though the people has not dilated well, in this case the nucleus is brittle and it is just a grade 3 uh, nuclear sclerosis, not very hard, not very soft cataract. It is on the softer side, but it is very brittle cataract. In diabetic patients, in this density itself, sometimes the nucleus is not brittle. Okay, the nucleus has been managed, and the epinucleus also has come out and now in this case I am going to use Simcoe cannula to remove the cortical lens matter. With Simcoe cannula I can avoid touching the iris. I am just going in the bag I'm just going underneath the anterior capsular rim and I'm not touching the iris. Though I, even if I touch it, it's going to be a very gentle touch and as you can see that the people uh, size is remaining constant. That's it. The cortical matter is removed.
little bit of polishing of the posterior capsule is done. While I was emulsifying the fragments, the people became smaller and later on it became of manageable size. Now I inject viscoelastic substance. Now when where the people is on the smaller side, I enlarge the incision a little bit by just 0 0.2 millimeter and I make the incision 2.8 millimeter incision becomes about 3 millimeter and this helps me in easy implantation of the intraocular lens in the capsular bag. Here it is. The capsular bag has been expanded with viscoelastic substance and the lens has gone into the capsular bag. The haptics take shelter along the equator of the capsular bag. That's it. Now, viscoelastic substance is being removed from behind the eye well, from the front of the eye well. First time using the Simcoe cannula. In this case, the intraocular lens is taking a very long time to unfold. It has not unfolded completely, and because it has not unfolded completely, we are getting these reflexes. That's it. I spent a lot of time in cleaning the viscoelastic substance and I advise you also to spend adequate time to remove the viscoelastic substance. Of course, if you use sodium hyaluronate, sodium hyaluronate will come out very easily in a short period of time. But since this is, since this is HPMC hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose it takes a long time to come out. Now I am using bimanual IA the irrigating probe of bimanual IA to flash out the viscoelastic substance. Now this is irrigation and aspiration together. The pupil has become smaller at this stage. It is about 4.5 millimeter. That's it. Dear colleagues, we must be very cautious while we emulsify nuclear fragments with metallated or small people. Must bring the pieces at the center of the entry chamber and we must take care not to catch the iris. There must be a safe distance between the tip of the phaco probe and the pupillary margin. Now, the side ports are hydrated to make these wounds waterproof. And now, I have gone to higher magnification and I am examining the anterior chamber thoroughly for anything left in the anterior chamber like a small cotton fiber or anything, a nuclear piece. That's it. The case is done. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. And when you become a good surgeon, please share your experiences with your young colleagues.